Shopping at Aldi is an important discipline for those of us who find ourselves to be financially challenged. It is also a German company. I believe that the brother of the guy who owns Trader Joe's. One, one owns Aldi, the other dude owns Trader Joe's. And so both of these companies and stores have something very interesting going on. If you talk to the employees, most of them seem happy and content joyful to be working at their grocery store jobs. I've also noticed how the, it seems like the entire store can run, at least here at Aldi, can run with two or three people working. They have mechanized electric pallet jacks. They have some good tools that really helps them to stock stuff quickly. The other interesting thing is there is nobody picking up carts outside. Um, they have an innovative yet simple yet genius system to make sure that each of us bring our carts back to the front of the store where it belongs. And that's through the use of the quarter, which you're probably aware of, a quarter to anything. They do not provide bags for you. And the other retailer that does this is Costco. So Costco and Aldi do not provide bags for you, for your groceries. And uh, this means that they save a lot of money in bag costs, and they are not contributing to the stupid plastic pollution problem that we are all experiencing. In addition to the fact that it forces, in a nice, gentle way, for us consumers to think of better ways, like uh, using boxes that they do provide, or using um, uh, reusable bags. So all of these things kind of work together to keep the costs down, but the quality of the products is pretty incredible. Some of them are better quality than what you might find at Kmart, Target, Walmart, you know, these bigger things. Um, so the quality of the products generally is not suffering, although there are some problem areas to watch out for. For example, never, never purchase a frozen pizza from Aldi. I've never had one that tasted good. And if you look into the background of it, if you check where the pizza has been made, many of the frozen pizzas, at least in the past, were made in Germany and shipped here. Now, as far as I know, the Germans are not known for good pizza, so I don't know why they would make them and then ship them here to sell to us. That seems like a strange decision. Maybe things are changing. Maybe things are better now in the pizza department, but I'm kind of scared to try because I've tried three or four or five or ten times, and there just don't seem to be good pizzas at Aldi. But there are many other good things. The coffee is great. Um, we have tremendous amounts of wonderful produce, kale, high quality, good, good condition. Um, the beer is quite good at Aldi now. It did not used to be. Three years ago, you could barely find anything drinkable, but now it's gone up a lot. Um, maple syrup is great. You've got your staples, like eggs and things are fine. Quite a good cheese selection. Nothing like Costco. If you need really good cheese, go to Costco. But for now, for here, for me, for the poor man, the cheese selection here is just tremendous. Here we have evidence of people returning their carts to the front happily, joyfully, getting exercise at the same time. It all works together for the good, those. But one important thing, do not forget your quarter or you will have a lot of trouble shopping at Aldi. Quite a nice wine selection and some tremendous beverages. This place is hopping. This is a seasonal item I like to get each year. Special cherries. 239 pitted sour cherries in syrup. Managing all this stuff without bags can be a challenge. But as a poor man, I'm up to it, up to the challenge. Gotta get all these into here, and I just like to put them straight into the box.